Okay, so there's not really too much for me to say. You guys saw the title of the video. You know what I'm talking about. Grand Peace Online has been really, really declining lately. In school today, when I came to my lunch period, one of my friends came up to me and asked, and if you're watching this, Jared, he said to me, Chris, have you seen what's going on with Grand Peace Online? It's at like 12K players now. And I'm sure you guys are about to comment, okay? Chris, 12,000 players is still really good. That's not bad. And I completely agree. It's not bad. But this is 12,000 players after the game already went free. And it was hitting these numbers during paid access. And if you don't know what that means, less people are playing now. Now that the game is free, then when it costs money. That's a massive decline. Now, the last Grand Peace Online update was actually two months ago. Okay, so it wasn't even that bad. So how the game is so low, I don't know. Normally when GPR runs out of players, it's because it hasn't gotten an update in months. And that's just not the case right now. Another thing we have to take into account here is that school has started. But if you look right now, even now on a Saturday, the game is at 12,000 players. And I didn't even know that. Now I'm not just making this video to talk down on GPO. I'm actually making this video, not only because my friend came up to me in school today, but because my friend Winter Clouds made a video that I thought I'd react to. That being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, I would appreciate if you hit that sub button. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so this is the downfall of Grand Peace Online by Winter Clouds. Go check him out. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. July 2nd, 2022, Grand Peace Online, 220k players. August yep. 22nd, 2022, 13k players. And just yep. over a month, GPO has lost over 90% of that 200k players a crazy amount release game and it's likely to continue dropping daily but the For question sure. is why to uncover this mystery of how grand peace online went from the height and peak of roblox to barely competing with your average roblox anime game in yeah this <laughs> This is insane, man. How did GPL go from being 200,000 players to literally being on basically the same tier as a One Piece game? And that's that's wild. No offense to the boss. Like, you know, the game's cool, but GPO and a One Piece game, same level? That's wild. In numbers, I have come up with a list of three crucial things I believe are contributing towards this mass decline. Reason Definitely one, gonna be times. Yeah, Anyone update who's times. Been around for GPO for any sort of time. Atrocious. The game's huge downfalls. For mm -hmm. example, the gap between update three to update four what was that, eight months, six months or 149 days. And Ridiculous. This is known as the most dreadful time in Grand Peace Online history. Half a year. The game took six months. There's 12 months in a year. That's half of a year. <laughs> half of a year for an update. We had to wait half of a year. That's so that's literally insane. That's an entire school semester. Not even. That's like that's like two, three quarters. That's wild. Probably more than two, three quarters. I don't know. That that's crazy though. This time period, and this is a continued four thousand players. GPO devs often overpromise and under deliver, telling the communities updates will come quicker, and then having the very next update always. Oh, well, you always promising stuff. And have it not even live up to the expectations. Now, I believe getting a more consistent update time could heavily improve the game's play. Agreed. Time, providing players with new one thing and i'm sorry for pausing so much if you look at games like a one piece game the reason why that game is doing so well even though it's not really a crazy one piece game is because the boss is so consistent he's always doing a lot of updates same with shindo life shindo life is not getting all these players because this is the craziest naruto game it's because they do updates weekly that's a lot of content new fresh content on a regular exactly basis is going to definitely help because at the current rate we are right when are now, spinning taking anywhere from five to nine months per update and that update providing the exact same thing as the update before that literally is not good long term for this game and i think we can all agree to that as well 100%. that crucial reason no community feedback is ever taken now this might seem like a weird oh my god for you just does not listen like ever like i remember i would suggest so many things in the test server uh, i can't really think of anything specific right now but i remember one of the things i might have suggested was more actual sniper involvement in the game because if you play grand peace online you know that range weapons are atrocious not even considered part of the meta whereas if you watch one piece you know you have all kinds of snipers like usopp yasop ben beckman ben decker i could go on and in grand peace online there's literally no sniper representation at all there's none of that it's it's actually ridiculous no community representation whatsoever like there's no point in suggesting things. If you're if you're suggesting this in the Grand Peace Online server, just delete it. There's no point because Foyu's not gonna listen. Nobody cares. It, it's terrible. Like a weird reason, but as we know, Foyu hey, yo. rarely takes in community. Rare, if ever, I've it's never seen him do it. Opting to follow his usual update and content format pattern. There are a lot of people who bring very good and innovative ideas for the game. I always very see so many people com. I always see so many people commenting a lot of really good ideas in this channel, 24/7. Look at that, 2,000 upvotes. You can see people in here really care. They're trying to, like, you know, protect the game. They're trying to, you know, help it improve. 
towards the future, but it's just not getting taken. Nord. This Nobody cares. This is an issue due to the fact that every single update since the dawn of the game follows a very linear format. We yep. get one fruit, we get one weapon, and a we new get map. one island. Yep. Sometimes it's more, but very rarely. And very they rarely. They do add more. <laughs> Rook event. They made it to where you can only farm it on weekend, which makes Ridiculous. No Ridiculous. you got new fruit on every update, you're left there bored, nothing to do, and now you have to wait. Let me just say on that topic, bored, nothing to do, and now you wait. Um, The GPO Halloween, or was it Halloween? I don't know. But the last update with Thriller Bark, I think I might have played that for a grand total of three days. In those three days, I did the new things, you know, I got some of the new drops, I streamed for like a day or two, and yeah, three days and I was off the game. Three days, two months for an update, or no, my bad, like six months for an update, and it got three, 150 days, and it got three days of my time, so ridiculous. Thing is, I wasn't going to sit there and grind for fruits I knew damn well I wasn't going to get, I just can't do that, but that's the thing, outside of grinding for fruits and farming for drops, there's nothing else to do in GPO, so of course I'm going to sit there and play for three days and get off, because... That's all there is. There's just nothing else. Five to eight more months to repeat the exact same process. And this is how people are getting tired. Every single update. Clearly, the current update formats are not working. It's not keeping players satisfied. So they need to add new game modes, new features. They need to switch up the formats of the For update. sure. And so to do that, they need to take in community feedback. He's this not going to, though. The devs have been lacking very much so. They're not. I think that Foyu thinks that he his ideas are always going to be more superior to the communities regardless of what it's what it's about so i don't think that he really takes what we have to say into account too much even for the testers outside of like nerfing and buffing things i don't i i rarely see new things that we actually want getting added back when i was like a more rigorous tester up and tested for you pings but before i was super active now I, I still think I'm decently active, but I'm not as active as I used to be. Like, what really got me is I used to suggest a lot of stuff in the um, tester suggestions channel. And I know because I've been a tester for the game for a while and I just very rarely saw things get added. So I was like, OK, what's the point? Like something that I, I remember posting in the tester uh, suggestions channel is Phoenix needed a rework. I literally made a video talking about this. Where is the Phoenix rework? Because for those that don't know, I used to be very involved in Grand Feast Online. I was huge with the GPO content, recording the GPO videos, I was really into it. And yeah, I mean, nothing really got changed. So I just said, all right, screw it. Why am I wasting my time here suggesting things? They don't care, so why do I, you know? In tune with what the community it's sad. wants, likes and dislikes. And I feel that's a great asset to have. Now for the final reason, the game is too repetitive and too grindy. Now, let me just say this. Oh, crap, oops. Let me just say this about what Winner just said. The game is too grindy. This I disagree with because I, I guess what Warner's not realizing here is Grand Piece Online is a grindy One Piece game. It's just like a One Piece game, Block Streets, King's Legacy. It's it's a grindy game. And you know what? I respect that. That's what Paul you went for. You wanted your average bandit beady, grindy Dell fruit farming simulator type game, and you know what? That's cool. You know, you do that. Oh you if that that's what you want to do, go for it. Now, I'm not saying that the game has to be less grindy, because that's what they're going for. But Outside of the grind, what could make this game unique, even though it is this type of game, is if it had more things to do outside of the grind. That's what I'm saying. I'm not just saying, oh, make it less grindy, because let's face it, GPO is a grindy game. You know, you get what you pay for. Well, not anymore because it's free, but you, you get what you sign up for with the grind. Man. You just got to deal with it. That's all it is. Devs continuously follow the same update format, which I talked about in the reason before. That needs to change, too. For fruits of all games has other alternative methods of progressing other than just grinding. True. Like example of this is how you get the shank saber. They could have easily just said, oh, kill the shank's boss and he has a chance of dropping the saber. That's mm. not, not how it works. They put you through a storyline, a quest line, which makes it more interesting yeah. and more engaging. Black Suit is great with that. Things like this in that I used to play that game a lot. Now, I believe GPO is objectively the better game, but the fact that Block's Roots has some better features than GPO, being that GPO is the better game, is crazy and due to gpo having such repetitive content it has nothing to separate itself from other one piece games other than the fact that it just has good graphics and decent combat and that's what i've been saying i've been saying that for such a long time now whenever someone says chris is gpo the best one piece game i'm always saying grand piece online is just like every other one piece game but it looks better and then they say that and they're like okay chris all right you're capping you're lying gpo is the best one piece game ever it's not it's not stop it oh my god it hurts when i say gpo is just like every other one piece game with better combat and better graphics and people sit there and try to refute that and act like it's the next coming of christ it's a good one piece game but that's all it is 
all know at this point is not nearly enough. It may be enough for a short period of time, but if you look at the player count, clearly one game's thriving where another game is falling. So that has been my I agree. big reasons on why I think the GPO is declining in player count. I think these are reasons that could easily be fixed if the devs are... Yeah, this would not be hard to, like, you know, resolve. Let me know what you guys think of my three reasons. And comment down any reasons you guys thought I might have missed that should have been in this video. I'm definitely curious to see what you guys feel about this. Honestly, W video winner. That was really well thought out. Um... I really didn't even have like normally after I reacted to a video like this, I probably pause it and then talk some more. But when it really address everything I talked about, the game needs more content. But you need to actually take suggestions from the community. It's not dead. It's at 12k players, which is still really good. But you still pulling in millions of dollars, which I'm assuming is millions of oh not millions of dollars. He, he's pulling in probably oh you might be a millionaire, bro. <laughs> he probably is. So he's rich. There's a, there's no lack of funds there. Money isn't the issue. It's having new content having the developers actually work on this stuff and that's completely up to for you at the end of the day if he doesn't want to do this stuff he doesn't have to because the guy is rich so yeah with that being said hopefully y'all enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one